Can you tell which, if any, of these torque wrenches are out of spec just by looking at them? You have to test the wrench in order to tell whether or not it's in spec. Wrenches don't have an indicator that says, hey, I could be a problem. More companies have gone to daily torque verification and with good reason. Just calibrated tools can mysteriously go out of spec in an instant, being dropped, pulled over capacity, being used and abused. It just happens. Hey, industry is a tough place. And if quality and control are important to your end product, then daily torque verification is a sound business process. So let's look at your torque verification unit. Can you tell which, if any, of these torque verification units could be out of spec just by looking at them? See the last calibration date and the next calibration date displayed during the startup sequence? That's helpful. But what if the tester was calibrated last week? You should be good for another year, right? While that feature is important, it, it won't pull your bacon out of the fire. See that flashing red light? That little red light shines a big spotlight on an important issue. That flashing red light is intended to catch your eye, even if you're across the room. That flashing red light wants you to look at something. See the top of the easy-to-read vacuum fluorescent display? It says OV 120% capacity. That's what it wanted to show you. Now, someone might turn the unit off when they see the flashing lights in hopes that it will just go away. But when you turn the power back on, see the screen as it goes through its startup cycle? It calls to your attention that the unit has been taken over capacity. That little red light is back. Maybe the red light wants you to look at the reports. But what if the employee wasn't using the memory function during the overload? What good are the reports? In Torktronics 2, the overload information is stored in two places, and even if the memory is off, the data is still recorded in the elephant memory and can't be erased. See the OVL notice in the report? Those are all indications that this torque verification unit has been stretched to 120% or more over the rated capacity. If your unit is out of spec, then all your tests could be invalid and you've got out-of-spec torque wrenches and you don't know it. Then what? If your torque verification unit has memory and can tell you exactly when the overcapacity occurred, you can do a lot to make sure that you discover potential errors before your customer does. Let's pretend for a second that the memory was on, the unit is stretched to overcapacity, and the worker in a noble effort to stop the flashing light, tries to erase the memory. What happens then? Actually, it won't erase, because that's been error-proof too. And not only will it not erase, but it gives the worker a display that says, see supervisor. Error-proofing is all about helping the worker to do a better job with these error-proof, your error-proofing features. If you want to gain control over your torque verification program, daily torque verification is only half a job. You have to complete the cycle, otherwise you're really not error-proofing. If you are verifying your wrenches and you don't have a unit that talks to you, you're just gambling with your quality. To learn how to stop gambling and start truly error-proofing, contact Sturdivant Richmond. Your quality is our business is more than an advertising tagline with us. It's a way of life. This is Newton Meter saying thanks and good talking with you.